Howdy, I'm Farmer Tyler. I'm here with Brett Elliott of Elliott Gardens. He runs one of the very few certified organic hydroponic farms in the US. And it is an honor to be able to speak with you and have you share a lot of this revolutionary technology that you're working on. So thank you, Brett. You're welcome. Um, so let's start by describing the system you have. Okay, I'm running a Crop King channel system. I seed into the oasis and I, that goes into a germination chamber for three days okay. until I get germination on that basil. And then I uh, set it out outside of the system for about 10 to 12 days okay. until the plants are maybe a quarter inch tall. How old are these guys? So these guys are two, two and a half weeks, three okay. weeks old right now. We already got some, some good root yeah. penetration. So they look pretty good. Well, they're into the system for four additional weeks. So I, so from wow. seed to finish six, uh, six <laughs> weeks from a finish, for a finished 12 inch tall basil. That's summer production. Yep, summer and, production. And then how about when you get towards so, winter? And, and it's not that different. It's probably add, add a week. That's not much at all. Add a week. That's yes, incredible. Probably. Are you supp adding supplemental light? No, wow. not here, I'm not. So then the harvest process, how does, how does that work? You pull them out of here like this, and then there's a plastic uh, sleeve that they go into. Mm -hmm. And you'll put a little uh, one ounce of water in the bottom of the sleeve and put this in, and it's like a closed off flower sleeve. Yep. And then you'll pack them in a 12 count box. And what kind of shelf store. life they have? So they'll have about a, we put about a 14 day shelf life on these. All right, so let's get to sort of the meat of it. The fertilizer, this really hard to find a good organic fertilizer that will actually run through these quarter inch emitters without clogging them. What have you found? Yes, uh, so I found a, uh, a product called TerraGenesis out of Florida. I'm very familiar with it. It's actually the fertilizer I was using in Florida when I was farming down there. Yeah, and it, it has, it doesn't clog up like all of the other ones that I've tried, it's, it stays clear and you can run that water for eight to 12 weeks without changing the reservoir. So uh, one of the big, big struggles for organic hydroponic farmers now is the media. Uh, recently, actually the media right now, we have in front of us this uh, Oasis Cubes. Yes. They were dropped, the certifier dropped them, right? Yes, they were dropped a few months ago. I get, a, I get to use them until the 1st of December this year and then uh, I'm going to have to use some type of cocoa-based uh, media or uh, peat-based. And you're already in trials with that, right? Yes, I got some trials going on that stuff. H how do the economics of organic hydroponics compare to, I guess, what you're used to? Yes, it's it's quite a bit higher just because the nutrient is so so much more. Is the the crop price also higher? You don't. They don't get so much more now. Okay. I mean, you can get a little bit. It's just that's the hard part is getting the extra cost. You can get, get your price up just yeah. because it's organic. So how do you work around the economics of an expensive fertilizer? I, I know you've been working on smaller reservoirs and water efficiency. Yeah, you do a smaller. I have a smaller reservoir. So I'll run a 150-gallon tank for a 6,000-site system. It'll, it runs it, but if, it ever, if you ever have to shut it off for a long period, it's going to overflow. Because there's the more water system. in your system yeah, than there is in your reservoir. Is, yeah, <laughs> you've got half of your waters out in the system. How does the EC differ between organic and conventional? Are you running about the same numbers? I'm actually running a lower number on an organic <laughs> what? than I was. Yep. I was, okay. running, I was running about a 2.0 yeah. EC for a conventional fertilizer basil? on basil. Mm-hmm and I'm running about 1.3 wow. for an organic. I think the wow. plant can use it, use everything. These leaves don't look nitrogen deficient at all. They no. look, they look and, dark. And they don't do it. The only time these leaves will get light is if the light level is low. There are not many farmers who are open about their research and what they're doing, especially when they're doing something so innovative as organic hydroponics, which has pretty much been like the holy grail of hydroponics for yeah. For decades. I mean, it's been people have been working at this forever, and you have it down better than I've ever seen. Your crop is looking amazing, and he's sharing all the information for free. So, if yeah. you appreciate what Brett is telling you, go buy some of his basil in stores. Give him a call and just say thank you. Thank you so much, Brett. Okay. This is thank you. Incredibly valuable information. <laughs>